everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do this TMI tag. Now TMI tag means too much information and I was tagged by one of my other YouTube friends. Her name is Antariksha. I will mention her channel's name in my description box. So please go ahead and check out her videos and her channel. Show some love. She has a channel just like mine or maybe she does a little extra. So she does all these reviews, drugstore, international, everything. So her channel is all in one so you can definitely get a lot of help from her channel so without rambling too much please subscribe to my channel follow me on all my social handles and everything will be mentioned in my description for your info so without wasting any more time let's get started i need to answer 50 questions now if you know that i have never done a q a on my channel regarding me so this is like a right way i feel you will come to know a lot of things about me so I'm excited. I was waiting to do this TMI tag, but then every day I was thinking and like there are 50 questions. So like uh, I needed a peaceful mind to do it. So today I'm doing it. So the first question is, what are you wearing? I'm wearing this uh, boat neck kind of a tunic top and it's quite comfortable and I'm wearing plazos down below. So and I'm just wearing this neck piece. This is by Veramoda and that's it second question ever been in love yes i have been in love and i am staying with my love <laughs> he is my husband that's it <laughs> thought ever had a terrible breakup not as such because i never indulged to myself too much into breakups or like love and all situation fourth how tall are you i am five six fifth how much do you weigh oh I just don't like answering this question. This is like a very personal question, but I have to answer it. I am 72 kilos. I have weighed my weight like at least uh, eight to nine months back. So currently I don't know how much I'm weighing, but then it is, it was 72. So I'm still assuming I'm 72. Sixth, any tattoos? No, I don't have any tattoos and I will not even get one done on myself. I don't want to go through the pain. Seventh. Any piercings? Yes, I have three piercings. One each on my ear and one on my nose. Yes, nose one you may not even come to know because I don't wear regular nose pins, but I do wear nose pins. I like wearing them. Eighth, OTP. Now this even I didn't get it, so I had to Google it and Antriksha also explained it on her channel. This fictional pairing. Now for me, fictional pairing is... Uh, there's only one couple which I like the most in fictional pairing. I was reading this book called Fifty Shades of Grey and I never knew that uh, they will definitely come out as a character in a movie. So they were my fictional uh, pairing. The characters are Anastasia and Christian. They both are like, I just can I, I just see them and I'm like, you know, I will just get those goosebumps in my body. So I just admire them fictionally, physically, all in all ways. So, okay. Ninth question. Favorite show. My all-time favorite show. I have watched a lot of shows. But then the perfect one I felt was Sherlock Holmes. And currently, I last, like, I want to watch Game of Thrones. But I am not able to. So, Sherlock Holmes is like my perfect one. You should definitely watch all the seasons. Tenth question. Favorite band. Till date, I was not a very band person, but whatever I have heard earlier was from Metallica. So that's the only band I liked till date. Eleventh, something you miss. Uh, I thank you to God, like I have all the loved ones around me. It's only one person I miss a lot and I miss my mom a lot every day, every minute, every second. So she's the one I miss. Twelfth, favorite song. Okay, now I have a lot of favorite songs, but then currently I am listening to this one song a lot, a lot is by Adele. It's by Adele and the song name is Hello. So I think it's a global award winner also. So you can definitely Google this song and you will just fall in love with the song. So this is one of my favorite songs. How old are you? I am 27. Zodiac sign. I'm a Sagittarian. 15th quality you look for in a partner okay now this is like a question which has so many answers but then i would just wind it up in two lines i want a per i always wanted a person like i want 
I wanted my partner to accept me with my own, with my faults, not with my good things because good things everybody has and everybody likes to have the good things. But person who can accept the other person with her or his faults is one quality I look for. It's just not that you are living in some rosy world. My wife is going to be like that. My husband is going to be like that. No, for me, it was totally different. So I got my right one. So that's one thing I look into a partner. He should be open for anything in this world with the perfect right one. And secondly, he should or she should be the best friend. Best friend as in first you become a friend then you become a partner. If you become a good friend or a best friend, you will definitely be a good partner. So these are the two things I definitely looked for and I got one. So I love my husband. Okay, next question. Uh, 16. Favorite quote. Everything in this world comes with an expiry. Be it be anything in this world. Even if like... I learned it a very hard way for that matter. Uh, nobody like in this world, like even if a human being is like getting born one day, one day that person has to go. And with the person going, all the emotions and love and affection, everything goes, I feel. It's only some memories being left, but then everything just goes by. So I feel personally and I always trick Stand by it that everything comes with an expiry date. So please live your life. Cherish every day. Don't crib. Just live. That's it. 17th. Favorite actor. Okay. Now, I'm not a very movie person personally. And uh, I don't like, like I don't watch a lot of Bollywood movies. Let me be very true to you i watch a lot of hollywood movies because i'm a more of a person who like conceptual movies not anything so my favorite actor from bollywood if you ask me is akshay kumar because he does all those uh, defense movies or those uh, anti-terrorist movies and some conceptual movies he has done so i really look forward to his acting and he's really good next Favorite color. My favorite color, all time favorite is black. But currently I've started liking navy blue. Yeah. Loud music or a soft one? Mm, i not a person who likes, like it depends on the mood guys. See, you just can't say soft or loud. Loud me, I like those party type music. But then not those ones where people are literally screaming on top of their voice. I don't like that kind of a music. I like something which is soothing and nice. So that's kind of a music. I don't know how to answer this question. 20th. Where do you go when you are sad? Uh, this is like a difficult question. It's like I see I when I'm sad, I want to be alone. But then my alone is a different kind of alone. I'm a very difficult person in a whole I feel because I'm so much into myself. Into myself as in I just keep myself like close into with me around me. So when I'm sad, I want someone to be around me and ask me why am I sad. And even if I'm not answering, please keep asking me why I'm sad. So it's basically like that. So it's the only person who I will expect doing this is my husband. And for that matter, my mom also used to keep asking me, why are you sad? What happened? And she used to like ask me till the time I don't answer her. I never, I, so I used to, I like it. So I like it. I don't want to be really be alone. And if really I want to be alone, so I'll just, I'm a very, uh, you know, very, uh, what do you, what should I say? I'm a very um, selfish person in this. Like uh, I, I want to be sad. And I want to trouble the other person also. So I just move out of the house. Just go down below my building. Roam around a bit. Think about the uh, things happened. And then just come back. So and one more bad thing I do. I just leave my phone in the house. So I'm not reachable basically. So that's one thing I do. So that's like the craziest thing I can do when I'm sad. 21st. How long does it take to you, you to shower? 10 minutes if I'm not taking head bath and 20 minutes if I am taking head bath. 22nd, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? 5 minutes? Yeah, I don't go anywhere guys. 
if I'm going anywhere and I don't have to do any makeup, then I'll take 10 minutes. 23. Ever been in a physical fight? Not really. And brother-sister fight keeps happening, so a little bit. Not too much. 24. Turn on. If you don't have knowledge, if you have knowledge about things happening around you, a basic knowledge, that's a turn on for me. Like, from, for that matter, even if you're not dressed well, even if you're not into your well-poised way, but if you know things happening around you, that's like a turn on me, turn on for me. Turn off, exactly the opposite of this. If you're wearing like A-class clothing, you're like, oh my God, he's looking good. But then when you open your mouth and you don't know anything, that's like a turn off for me. So pull up your socks, grab some knowledge. That's the turn on. Because even if I stay in my house, I don't roam around in this world, but I try to keep up with the world to know something about the country, whatever is happening, so that in any situation, you know what you should do and you should be aware of every possible thing. But I would not say you should become a general knowledge book for that matter. I'm a very bad person in knowledge, general knowledge. Like if you ask me who is the chief minister of some state, I will not be able to answer you. But whatever I see in the news, I remember it. And that's quite enough. Like take anything guys like gst happened so you should know what is gst you should know at least basic thing about it so you should have correct knowledge about everything but a little bit you should know so that you know what's happening in your own country that's it so that's the uh, like if you don't know it's a turn off for me 26 the reason i joined youtube okay now this is a long story but i'll cut it short uh, the reason me joining YouTube was like I used to watch a lot of review videos on YouTube and a lot of other stuff also. Like it was all related to makeup. Why should I lie? And I used to watch a lot of bakery videos. So because I learned my baking through YouTube only, I never took any classes. And whatever I bake, I feel I'm ba I bake good. So, so one day my friend just told me, why don't you start making videos? So I thought, really? I can't do it. So she said, why can't you do because she was so confident about me going into YouTube that even I was not. And my husband also motivated me a lot. He said, why don't you just start? Because he was like, you stay all alone in this house. You can do something creative and you can speak. As for my husband, I can speak. So I was like, okay. And apparently my husband gifted a DSLR camera when uh, on my but first birthday after marriage because I saw the DSLR camera with someone and uh, in my marriage and I told him the camera looks amazing and he caught that line and he gifted me a DSLR camera and I used to use that camera for close photography so then he told me you have a camera and then he bought me other stuff not the too many stuff I didn't buy for the YouTube I just bought a tripod stand or some basic stuff and then I started practicing. I used to practice and I used to show him. And one day my friend told me, why don't you just post one? So I just posted it. So that's how I started the YouTube journey. It was never planned in my life. And I never started this with any intention as such. Ki I will gain something out of it. The only thing I'm gaining here is that I am telling you guys what I personally feel regarding anything I use because sometimes I feel uh when i used to see a lot of other youtubers and i still watch them so sometimes i feel you know whatever they said it is something opposite of that so yeah uh, you would have seen my lot of review videos and a lot of other things where i'm really straightforward guys i really don't want to make up things and talk because i never joined youtube with that purpose so that's how i started youtube so that's the whole story okay next question Any fears? 27 question. Any fears? Yes, I am dead scared of dogs. Be it be a pet dog or a street dog. And I'm more scared with the pet dogs. Because whenever you go to anybody's place and they have a pet dog, he will just start coming and smelling you, jumping on you and do what all stuff with you. And it's not the problem they smelling me or something. It's just that I'm scared of them. I'm dead scared of them. Like... 
uh, any friend of mine who has a dog in their house as a pet i don't go to their house they know it why why she's not coming i told them i will not come to your house because you have a dog and if you want me to come lock your dog to some room and then only i'll come because i just don't relate with them i just don't i i'm not saying that i hate them i just don't relate with them so that's i just told you so that's the dog story 28th last thing that you that made you cry okay 12th august was my mom's and my parents birthday basically it was like mom's my mom and my father's birthday is on the same day so 12th august i was really low so i cried that day okay 29 last time you said that you loved someone it was my husband i spoke to him and i said i love you uh 30th meaning behind your youtube name okay my youtube name is bronzing geek bronzing comes with bronzers geek is like a person who reads and studies a lot like even if it's not required that the person is just studying 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 that person is called as geek and this name was given to me by my college friends when i was in my college i was doing my graduation and apparently my bluetooth name was also geek can you imagine whole life whole time till now also if they end up meeting me they will just call me geek so geek came from there bronzing came comes from bronzer so it's bronzing geek and i love the channel name okay 31st last book you read the last book i read was 50 shades of read by erica g erica michel her pen name is ea james and it's an amazing story but i would not suggest and we want to read this book but it's a very intense love more than a love movie i would say and when you read the book you actually start living the book you are actually start living the characters so and when i when i saw the movie i was so intrigued by it because yes definitely the book is far better than the movie but they have done an amazing job with the movie also So that's the book I read last. Thirty second, thirty two. The book you are currently reading, "Who Will Cry When You Die" by Robin Sharma. He is one of my favorite authors, and I have read almost all of his books. Amazing one. Last show I watched. Last show I watched was Game of Thrones season six. Yeah, Game of Thrones season six. I'm not watching season seven because I will download all the episodes when it is over and then I'll watch. So I'm not even following Game of Thrones currently because I don't want to know anything. Next, thirty-four. Um, last person you talked to? I spoke to my husband. Last person, yeah, I spoke to him only. Thirty-five. The relationship between you and the person you last texted. Last texted was my friend. Yeah, we were texting uh, those uh, links from Jabong because some sale is happening. Was sale keeps happening on Jabong, so we were just sharing some links. So that was the chat, and the relationship with her is she is the friend who motivated me to start YouTube. She is one of the friends. She is more than a friend, and she has always supported me, encouraged me, helped me with a lot of things, and still supports me. So. she is more than a friend 36th favorite food my favorite food is curry chawal and jackfruit ki sabzi that's it these two things i can eat whole day 37 place you want to visit okay guys now this is a very difficult question because i travel so much i change the city every year so i <laughs> really if my husband asks me you want to go somewhere like no I don't want to go anywhere. But any place, if I want to visit and see once, is like I've seen very pretty pictures of Dharamshala on Google, and I want to see that place once. So basically, I just want to visit Dharamshala just to see the place. And basically, I just want to be in that those pictures. I feel okay. Thirty-eight. Last place you were in my house. I don't go anywhere as such. Thirty-nine. Do you have a crush? No, I don't have any crush. Forty-eighth. Last time you kissed someone. I kissed my husband a month back. Yeah. Forty-first. Forty-one. Last time you were insulted. I have never been insulted, guys. So I cannot help you with that. Forty-second. 
uh, favorite flavor of sweet in indian sweets i'm not a very sweet person but i like gajar ka halwa and if like a flavor of sweet is that then i like anything with dark chocolate dark chocolate i don't like cream and all in a cake also for that matter i just love dark chocolate and it should be hot okay 43 favorite instrument what instrument do you play sorry what instrument do you play no i don't play any instrument i've never even tried playing one 44 favorite piece of jewelry okay now favorite piece of jewelry is given to me by my husband even this one is being given to me by my husband so that jewelry is like basically it's into silver and it has emerald it's a choker so it's like a more of a evening wear of kind of a jewelry you can even wear it in a day so that's my favorite piece of jewelry i can i just reach out to the dead jewelry any time and since it's an emerald it goes with any color of outfit you wear 45th last sport you played last sport i played was basketball when i was I just, if you follow me on instagram i do my evening walk so there are some kids who play basketball so one i just thought of just doing some little bit things with them so that's the sport i played 46 last song you sang aaj jaane ki zid na karo aaj jaane ki zid na karo hai mar jayenge hum to lut jayenge aisi baatein kiya आज जाने की जिद ना करो दिस सॉन्ग आई लाइक फ्रॉम द पाकिस्तानी सिंगर हर नेम इज फहीदा फरीदा खमम चेक आउट हर सॉन्ग यू विल फॉल इन लव विथ सॉन्ग दैट्स द लास्ट सॉन्ग आई सैंग ओके फोर्टी सेवन फेवरेट चैट अप लाइन Guys, I just don't chat too much. I'm not very active on WhatsApp and all, so I will not be able to help you with that. So I don't have a chat up line as such, because if I want to speak to anyone or discuss anything, I just call that person and I'm sorted. Have you ever used it? Since I don't have a favorite chat up line, so where will I use it? Forty ninth. Last time you hung out with anyone? I. didn't hang out with anyone past so many days but the last person i hung out was my husband and uh, we went for a dinner outside before he was leaving me on the station so we went like yeah hung out on a station basically he dropped me at the station and that was the last day i hung out with someone 50th last question who should answer the questions next oh my god this is like really interesting interesting so i want uh, few youtuber friends of mine to answer first one is is sona sonia m second one is myros my life and makeup secrets and let's see what their answers are so please i will mention all the questions in my description so you can go through and i will mention everybody's name in the description so please do this tag take it further and let us know what your answers are so i hope you got some info about me and my life and do let me know how did you like the tag and just guys keep supporting please do check out my friends channel also so bye bye and take care and be positive